Oh, amazing article here on Tom Sachs, actually. Um, how to be an artist 24 7. Um, a really cool little profile on Tom Sachs interview sort of thing because um, he's doing an exhibition, I think, in Berlin. Is it Berlin? Yes, in Berlin now. It's essentially a retrospective of sorts, a timeline of his all the work that he'd done from the first piece of work that he put that he kind of created and until the present day. Um, again, you don't really see this too often from not don't see this too often but maybe it's a bit soon for tom Sachs. i always thought he would kind of do, do this a little bit later down in his career but he's done quite a few things he's done the space program thing he did a tea ceremony exhibition in japan in i think somewhere in japan that looks fucking incredible so you know he's kind of ramping up that level and of course maybe off the back of the night collaboration it might be a good time to kind of cash out and if you can cash out in a good way and kind of exploit the opportunity to spotlight that's on him at the moment and kind of reach a bigger audience i'm all the best for it and um, of course being selfish that i am and him being one of my favorite artists i like him to stay a little bit more underground but it's cool to see he's been able to do these kind of collaborations or these kind of exhibitions and kind of spread the message of tom Sachs far and wide so it's a really cool article from high snow Bite. Loads of really cool interesting bits and pieces on it that I want to point out to you, but it's a really cool article. Essentially, it kind of a, a profile on Tom Sachs. You see him here in the studio and loads of interesting pieces that he's put together now for the exhibition that's on at the moment, right? But there's two bits that I really wanted to pop out that really kind of spoke to me that I want to um, get to talk about here. So where's this one quote that I like? Da -da -da -da. I think it's that one, isn't it? Yeah, this is the, where's the first quote that really got me? That I thought was awesome from Mr. Tom Sachs. If I can find it, so let's go there. Boom. So this is the, this is a quote from Tom Sachs, right? Um, here we go. So it's the following. Um, while there, whilst um, this this is from the article, right? So it's called it's Tom Sachs interview. It's on High Snobby TV again. I'll link in the show notes for you guys to check it, but I'll read it right now quickly. So it says the following. <clears throat> While I haven't heard Sachs refer to himself as a bureaucrat, bureaucracy might be the modern ritual he's most fascinated with. One critic in a review of Sachs' elaborate space program installation at the Park Avenue Amori in 2012 wrote that it felt like a display of authoritarian whimsy. One could argue that there is a whimsy to there is a whimsy to everything Sachs does, the kind I imagine model UN participants proudly flaunting. However, sitting with Sachs and following him through his Byzantine studio and the, and the wide egress of his thought process, this authoritarian um, approach seems like a self-defense mechanism, one that would allow him to be productive in spite of the quick quicksands of distraction and the self-doubt that would swallow up lesser creative minds. And Tom Sachs says the following, it's a quote I really like, right? It says, there are always, there are many ways of being an artist. Sure. But for me, the biggest one is about building my life, eating, sleeping, fucking, working out and getting my teeth cleaned, my hair cut, sharpening my chisel and making sure that I have red paint for when the moment strikes. It's about preparing for the moment, Sax says, because it's elusive and it's very, very small. And that made me think, right? That's essentially what happens. I think you hear a lot of people, especially when I, I read, I think I've got the book here that I mentioned quite a few times. It's called Rituals. I've got who's who wrote it, but it's called Daily Rituals, sorry. It's an amazing book that essentially covers or profiles or details the daily rituals of loads of influential figures in culture, from art, literature, whatever you may name it. They're all in that book. And one thing that you see from all the rituals that everyone has, what they do is that they prepare their days or the hours before they get to work so that it allows them to do the work they need to do. So they just have a, some some sort of structure in place, whether it's waking up really early, whether it's having a cigarette in the morning, whether it's going for coffee, whether it's working out. They do, they do certain things in the morning that naturally will trigger other things. Like in the morning when I wake up, I have things that trigger other move, other actions. My One of my actions I have trigger in the morning is waking up early, waking up before 6 a.m. So that the first thing I do is I don't, eat breakfast that early anyway i'm usually fasting i go straight to the gym i come back home i shower have breakfast record my podcast go to work come back do a mix write something journal whatever maybe do you know what I mean so each thing triggers the next thing so if you're a professional writer you will do all the things i do up until you come back home and shower and then you get straight into writing because that's what you've done you set your day up where you do those three or four tasks in the beginning that then allows you and triggers you into the whole creative part because i could like i think like tom Sachs mentions that 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 time or the the event or the time in place where you're suddenly inspired or you have a stroke of genius it's only going to come about when you're in that kind of mode of working right so you need to be prepared for it. you need to be able to kind of grab that bolt of lightning out from the sky 
package it and kind of write, or kind of scribble it down a bit of paper so you don't forget it. But it's, it's so fleeting. For the most part, you're just generally going for the motions, right? You're not necessarily doing anything great. How many times have you sat in front of your screen with the cursor flicking in front of you, thinking about what to write, and then you sit there, you write something for an hour, you read it back to yourself, you're like, oh my God, this is the worst thing ever. It happens all the time. Because what you're doing day by day is that you're training yourself just to start writing. You don't necessarily have to write, you know, like Ernest Hemingway the first time. You won't necessarily do it. But what you're doing is that you're building up a practice so that suddenly when that source, of, when that kind of stream of inspiration comes along, you are ready because you're at your desk as opposed to being somewhere else that doesn't, you know, you're nowhere near a desk, you're nowhere near anything to write with. And then suddenly inspiration strikes and you think you're going to remember it. And as per usual, like you try to remember dreams, it never fucking happens. So I like the fact that he's like, so regimented and so kind of you know bureaucratic as the author pointed out even with the 10 bullets um hr video that essentially tells you how to prepare your studio how to clean up how to open up how to close down it's very by the book it's like you have to do these things like these things have to be done no matter what so that the other things you want to do um can happen it's sort of like a delayed gratitude it's sort of like discipline you know what it reminds me of Discipline equals freedom. The Jacko Wilnick quote. The Jacko Will Wilnick quote that I have at the back of my board there, um, from the obstacles. Uh, Discipline equals freedom is from the obstacles away, right? Or oh, no, what, what book is that from? It's from one of these books anyway. But that's one of the quotes I like, right? Discipline equals freedom, right? The more disciplined you are, the more free you are to do the things that you want to do. And it allows you to do other things too, in general, right? even when it comes to fitness, even when it comes to health, even when it comes to just working, right? How many times at work have you put off a couple of projects and then suddenly they all come piling on top of you and you start stressing yourself out? Whereas if you discipline yourself to do them before you even head home, even if that means you're having to stay a couple of hours, that then means you are freeing yourself up later on down the week to kind of, you know, not have not be so stressed, go home a little bit earlier, um, maybe do a couple more edits before the final hand in is comes around. There's loads of things that kind of uh, that kind of hit. So that's one of the quotes that really stood out to me in that article. And then the second one, I think, was the end bit, right? Uh, da, 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 da. What's the end bit? I think that's it, isn't it, for the quote? But yeah, I recommend you check it out. It's a really cool interview with Tom Sachs. It's on High School Biology. He speaks um, very, very eloquently and clearly about his approach to design, his approach to creativity. And I think for the most people, especially for creatives like myself, who are, you know, you tend to struggle with how you do things and you tend to struggle more so with just starting or how you're going to start. Whereas, you know, this topic or this interview kind of is a good way of kind of telling you what it means to be an artist, an actual professional artist. It means to kind of just turn up and do the work. It means no, it means to just show up every single day. As long as you show up, the work will then follow. Um, especially if you're showing up with something that you love, it shouldn't be work anyway. But if you are struggling to get that first bit of inspiration, make that first step. I really recommend checking out this interview with Tom Sachs. Um, it is titled in I Snub by T. Tom Sachs' Entire Life is Art. It's available now on High Snob. But again, I'll link in the show notes for you guys to check out yourselves and you can see it for yourself.